So what is a typical day like as a United States Special Agent? That's a great question that's often asked, but it's also a hard question to answer. I hate to sound cliche, but it really is true that being a Special Agent is not a 9 to 5 job, and there is no typical day. It's not all like the movies, where every day your favorite on-screen character is getting in car chases, kicking in doors and arresting bad guys. While you will do some of that, it's just not a typical day. One thing they never show you on TV is the multiple hours of sitting in front of a computer, researching, typing reports, and utilizing dozens of databases. But that just wouldn't be exciting TV, now would it? With that being said, we'll try to break down what a typical day consists of. Your work hours will vary greatly based on your assignments, but you'll start your day around 7 a.m. and work approximately 10 hours. You'll have days that start much earlier than that so you can attend a search warrant or arrest briefing, and other days that will stretch into the late evening hours while you're conducting a surveillance or just catching up on paperwork. More on the paperwork later. Like we said though, your hours will vary greatly, so don't expect to punch a time clock and be home for dinner every single day, because you won't. As a special agent, you will be issued a government-owned vehicle, or GOV as we like to call it. Your GOV will be your transportation to and from work, and it's essentially your office on wheels. Your desk will more times than not be a cubicle. We call our offices cubicle cities because it's just rows and rows of cubicles. It's loud and busy with activity. Again, it's not like you see on TV where every agent has a corner office with a view of the city and the furniture is ultra modern. Everything will be very standard and government-like. Like most jobs, you'll start your day by checking your email and voicemail. Then you'll check to see if you have any new assignments or cases assigned to you. Every agency uses some sort of case management database, and that is how you'll keep track of your ongoing cases. You will manage a dozen or more cases at a time, depending on your agency and assignment, and your cases will all be at different stages in the investigation process. It's up to you to manage all of them, so good multitasking skills is a must. Now that you're all caught up with the administrative stuff, you might have some other things on your schedule, like attending a classified meeting or briefing, testifying in a court hearing, preparing for an upcoming trial, conducting a search or arrest warrant with your team, meeting with informants, or gathering evidence on one of your various cases. You'll need to gather evidence on all of your investigations. That part is up to you. Special agents are fact finders and collectors of information. You'll gather evidence by interviewing suspects, witnesses, victims, and confidential informants, performing surveillance, obtaining copies of court records, and various other methods. But your typical day could also consist of training, because as a special agent, your training never ends. Your training could consist of online training regarding legal updates, or physical training like firearms qualifications, updated arrest tactics, or practicing surveillance techniques. And then there's the paperwork. As a special agent, you will be doing lots and lots of paperwork. It's not glamorous, but it's just the nature of the job, and it's necessary to complete the mission. Virtually everything you do will be documented. You will have deadlines to meet, boxes to check, and endless forms and memos to comply with. If you interview a suspect, for instance, you'll write a detailed report afterwards. If you do a surveillance on a location, you'll complete a report. If you're preparing for a search warrant the next week, you'll submit a very detailed plan that will be submitted to your supervisor for approval before any action can be taken. If you want to take out money to pay your confidential informant, you will need to fill out a form or submit a memo explaining in detail the reason for your request. And all of that paperwork has to be approved, sometimes by multiple supervisors, and then uploaded into the case management system and then a paper copy is saved in a physical case file. It's frustrating at times because you'll get bogged down with administrative tasks and paperwork, but that's just part of working for the government. You get the point though. Everything in the federal government is documented, and there seems to be a policy and procedure for everything. Again, that's not a bad thing, it's just how the government operates. Everything is very calculated and precise for good reason. And inevitably, during your day, you will receive phone calls, more emails, 
text messages, and requests for assistance. The public will call your office with various questions and for guidance on all sorts of issues. Also, during the day, some special agents will engage in some sort of physical activity. Agents are allowed one hour per day for physical fitness, and some offices have dedicated gym facilities on site. You will also get pulled during the day to help other agents out with their cases. As a special agent, you will rarely do anything investigative-wise by yourself, and you will spend a lot of time knocking on doors and talking with people. You must have good interpersonal skills to be successful. So that's just the typical stuff a special agent might do in a day. But as your career progresses, you will often become specialized in a certain area, and your daily activities will change. For instance, you might be part of a violent crime or drug task force, a member of the SWAT or special response team. You might specialize in undercover operations, be assigned to the public affairs office, or be a part of the training or recruitment division. The list of specializations goes on for days, but the point is that your daily responsibilities will change as your career progresses and you begin to follow what really interests you as an agent. But every agency is different, so your experience might be different. So, now your day is over, or is it? You see, as a special agent, you'll be issued a smartphone, and that means emails, phone calls, and text messages are coming in around the clock. You'll need to balance your work and home life very carefully so you don't burn yourself out. Just remember, your work day may end, but crime never does. So enjoy your time off and relax, because tomorrow you'll be solving the crime that happens today and hopefully preventing future crime from taking place. Have a great day and thanks for watching.